Hey, it's Brittany with ZD, and in today's video, we are going to be going over how to use our future dated message option within the ZD platform and some common use cases for service based businesses. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe and hit that alert bell so that you can get notified each time ZD releases a new video. Let's come into our inbox and you can see that a customer just sent us a message asking to schedule an HVAC inspection. We respond to them saying, yes, we just need an address and a couple of dates. They provided us with the address and the time. We locked in that time and then asked if they had any specific concerns. They said just a general inspection. And we confirmed that we have it set for Friday at 3 p.m. at their address and what time window their technician will be arriving in. We let them know that we're going to send them a reminder the day before. They thank us. We let them know if they have any questions to let us know. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just set a reminder that we can send to them the day before their inspection. So we're going to type out just a reminder that we will be at 1234 Maple Street for a comprehensive inspection tomorrow. We will be arriving sometime between 245 and 215. We can type that out and then click on schedule message, click on custom, and then we can select the date and time that we want to schedule it, which would be the day before her scheduled appointment. Now let's look at another way we can use this. Somebody just sent us a message saying that they saw a certain bike on our website and they had questions about it. They want to know if we have it in stock. We say, yes, we do have it in stock and we offer for them to come into the shop and take a look at it or even take it for a test drive. They confirm that they want to come in tomorrow afternoon. We let them know that's great and we'll see you then. The customer comes into the store, takes it for a test ride, loves it, makes the purchase. After they make the purchase, we actually are going to send them a message that says, thank you for choosing our shop. Thank you for your purchase. We're happy they found the right bike. And also reminding them that we do offer a 30 day tune up to ensure that the bike remains in peak condition and offer to schedule it now or later. And he says he'll come back to me on that. Cool. No problem. Looking forward to hearing back from you. Then what we can do is we're going to schedule a message for 25 days from now, reminding them that they need to come in for their complimentary tune up. So we're going to type out, we're getting close to your complimentary 30 day tune up. Would you like to set up a time to come in? We're then going to come down to schedule message, click custom. We're going to select the date and time that we want to send that. And we're going to click schedule and we're going to click schedule. Now let's say they actually called and made the appointment. So you don't need to have this sent anymore. All you have to do is come down to this one message is being scheduled to send. Click view message and click delete. Confirm that you want to delete it. And now that message won't send anymore. Let's talk about some common reasons that you would use this feature if you have a local or service-based business. Appointment reminder messages are crucial for ensuring that customers remember their upcoming appointments, reducing the chance of no-shows and helping to prepare both parties for the visit. Seasonal maintenance reminders are great because sending messages to remind customers about necessary seasonal services helps maintain their equipment optimally, which can prevent emergency situations and save money in the long term. Sending follow-up messages serves to enhance customer satisfaction by providing an avenue for feedback, addressing additional concerns, or simply ensuring that services rendered are performed as expected. You also have the option to send payment reminders. These reminders can be sent to prompt customers about outstanding payments. They can help maintain cash flow for the business and reduce administrative effort in chasing late payments. And you can use the schedule message feature for literally any reason that you might want to reach out to a customer in the future, whether it be a lead you're following up on or someone you're just trying to remind or nudge that your business is here and that you're here to help them. And that wraps up our segment on how to use the future dated message feature in the ZD app. Make sure you subscribe before you go and we will catch you in the next video.